To remain updated with the latest business news, click on the bell icon. From the future, let's get a little bit a sense of the past. I'm talking about you, Samir, because you have worked with, uh, you worked very closely with Ratan Tata, developing their first uh, electric vehicle, the Tigor EV. What are some of the learnings from that project, and how are the uh, electric vehicles of today different from what you worked on? Sure, Prina. So I'm going to go. Uh, to the uh, past from the present because I have a comment to make on the present. You know, if you have experienced today sitting in an uh, EV, uh, I don't know how many of you actually drive an EV. Uh, I, I forced myself to buy one because uh, whereas we are building one, but driving one is a totally different thing. Already today, Prerna, we are working from car. OK, because it, the connected enterprise exists in the car already. We already it's not a it's not a futuristic thing. It's turning on your air conditioner before you come, turning on what you need, all the connections before you're there, knowing your state of charge much before. Where is my uh, if uh, of course, if I want to know where my driver is, if he's driving the car, I know we are already living in a connected world today uh, in an EV. Now, um, now I'll go all the way to three years back. OK, let's go back to we. We were doing an experiment um, on the Nano on a 48 volt platform. Um, obviously, we had an architecture that we had homegrown, but obviously it was from the learnings of uh, the previous uh, work that was done in the past, as well as some uh, brains from the outside. We were putting our minds together. But Kishore is right. Uh, the amount of software tweaking or modifications and AI that we have used in the battery pack, in the motor control unit, in the VCU, in order to improve the lessons that we have learned from the road driving conditions so that we optimize the energy to maximize range so that we optimize the drivability and the feel we get whilst driving in the drive cycle of the motor, etc., has been phenomenal. So you write software, you obviously, you know, that's not the end of it. You then take the data back from the road and you use that both in an AI way as well as in your own way, uh, based on experience and experiment to improve the battery pack life, to improve the driving feeling, to improve how you will feel when you're going up, uh, you know, up the ramp, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, has been huge. So we've had many versions of our uh, so-called EV powertrain, and the current version is a far improved version. We looked at expanding range in the same space. We looked at a lot of things, but it was highly software-driven modifications, and there's a lot of AI that's gone in now. So in the three years, we've had almost three different versions uh, of the powertrain. And where we sit today, we feel very comfortable that we are giving the fleet operator, because we operate primarily in that space, a vehicle which is predictable, a vehicle that they can use to earn money, a vehicle that is uh, that can uh, give confidence to the user that, and of course, uh, feeling morally great that we are not polluting the world. So I think it's been a huge learning experience, mostly on software, but obviously we are also working with a number of different people to make uh, our components Atmanirbhar. One, because it's required by the government through the PMP program, and two, because ultimately, you know, we can't rely on the rest of the world to give us components. We'll we'll die. We'll come to that uh, when we talk about scaling. Correct. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.